Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody, welcome back to another modded weapon guide here on Borderlands 2. Today I am back with another weapon meant to represent someone from the Marvel Universe. This is uh, the Witch made by Variant Loki and uh, it's obviously meant to replicate Marvel Scarlet Witch, uh, also known as Wanda Maximoff. And this thing is pretty damn cool, real, real load of fun. Uh, and uh, I had quite a good time actually testing this out. As you can see, it's uh, an elemental fire SMG. It directly uh, replaces the Hellfire, but as you can see, uh, the main interest of this gun is that it actually shoots out projectiles that uh, have novas in them that pull the enemy uh, towards you or any direction where you shoot it. Uh, now, not only is this uh, quite a powerful SMG, it's also pretty fun to just watch enemies fly about. Uh, sometimes you get a real straight shot on them. It actually just teleports them to uh, random places. You can pull them left, pull them right, you can pull them whatever you want. I mean, uh, I was uh, had a little bit of fun, which you'll see later in the overview of the weapon just afterwards, uh, that I was just sat here pulling them off cliffs and uh, things like that. A lot of fun, uh, and uh, Variant Loki's weapons are always really entertaining to review. So, uh, yeah, hopefully uh, today is no exception. Going to review the weapon, show you guys exactly what it's all about, tell you all the information you need to know, give it a try out, and, uh, yeah, as always, we'll start off by showing you guys exactly where to get this so as always you can click on the link in the description that will take you straight there or you can head over to the Borderlands 2 community github and click on Borderlands 2 mods then scroll down to the variant Loki section which you'll find right here about midway uh, through this list and uh, as you can see quite a lot of weapons in there now all awesome little uh, Marvel weapons Marvel themed so click on the witch and that'll bring up the weapons information page and tell you everything you need to know all you got to do is click on the raw tab right click and save as and then save it into your borderless 2 binaries folder Remember what you saved it as and then log into the game and uh, enable it using the console command which I'm just doing on screen right now uh, and that will change your hellfire into this beast right here, the witch. Uh, so like I've said, you can see these, uh, when you shoot this you will uh, shoot novas out, these novas will pull the enemies towards you, they will not hurt you uh, directly as you can see or pull you uh, in any direction, it's only for the enemy look at this thing it is absolutely stunning this is one of the best looking weapons i have ever seen uh, the red text says everybody is afraid of something and uh, yeah it's just one of the best weapons i've ever seen absolutely top job to variant loki his weapons get better and better and uh, yeah like i said at the beginning uh, i had a little bit of fun here i'll show you a few now i'm just literally standing here and you can pull enemies towards you you can pull them in any direction you want there you go there goes one off the cliff right there uh, good uh, good uh, fall there mate uh, so yeah i'm going to do a couple more here and then i'll show you what this weapon can be used for as well very very handily uh, because there is a big problem with one of the raid bosses that a lot of people struggle with this will actually help you solve that and i'm of course talking about master gi so one more guy off the cliff come on let's try and shoot him sometimes it's quite hard to get the actual uh, pull of it so you've got to pull it back a little bit but uh, yeah i do end up actually launching about nine of them off the cliff which is pretty fun there you go there's his body down there good night uh so yeah let's move on so like i said this weapon's very handy for the uh, raid boss fight master gi uh, obviously with master gi you have to shoot these worms you can't just directly kill him uh, you have to shoot these worms and then uh, use the uh, corrosiveness that comes out of them. Uh, you've got to get Master Gi to obviously uh, come through and soak up the acid or it actually expands to the point where it will kill you. Uh, so this weapon is brilliant because you can not only uh, kill the w worms quite easily with them, but you can also uh, use this weapon to pull Master Gi directly into the corrosive. No, so you don't have to sit there lining up trying to get him to actually go through it. You can literally just shoot him right here as you can see and then let him actually soak the uh, acid up which is really really handy. Uh, it still takes quite a while obviously to get him down but this can be done pretty easily. Just one warning, try not to directly shoot 
master gi with this weapon because as you can see uh, it does pull him in all sorts of weird directions sometimes when you get a direct shot on him it will actually glitch him out of the arena completely and then you'll have to start the fight all over again so uh, yeah be very careful uh, where you actually shoot him but just try and pull him into the layers of acid and uh, you'll soon defeat him pretty easily so that is one really really good thing about this weapon there you go as you can see he's just completely gone uh, he actually ended up landing over here but one other time I'm testing it he went out of the arena anyway let's uh, get on to what this uh, weapon is all about and uh, I'll give you the information you need to know so the information that you need to know is uh, this will replace the Hellfire SMG uh, and using this weapon it will break the Thunderball fist so try not to use them because they will not work uh, properly and uh, like I said in the beginning this wall is meant to represent Marvel's Scarlet Witch aka Wanda Maximoff you can use this weapon as a counterpart to the Quicksilver Assault Rifle if you'd like. So uh, obviously that's another one of his weapons that gives you super speed. Uh, this is not parts locked at all, so you can feel free to use whichever variation you'd like. But he does provide you a GIB code for the one that uh, I am using right now, which is the one he used during testing. So this weapon has a 15% increase to base damage. The Hellfire was already a pretty good weapon, so uh, he didn't go too crazy on the uh, base damage upgrade. Small increase to magazine size, accuracy and stability, but it will give you less recoil as well. Uh, it has increased status effect chance and damage over time, so if you actually land shots on the enemies you'll see uh, they will get dotted pretty well and uh, you know, there's more chance of them actually being set on fire. Grants a 50% resistance to incendiary damage, so any weapon uh, that's fired at you with fire won't uh, hurt you as much, and it also reduces the time that you are on fire by half as well, so that's very, very handy. It's got an E-Tech barrel because it looks cooler. I've already uh, stated how cool this thing actually looks, and it really is true. Uh, and uh, he just likes the way the flaps look, which I do as well. The E-Tech flaps on a weapon makes it look absolutely awesome. Shooting an enemy or surface will cause a small fire nova and a singularity that will pull in nearby enemies. Uh, will it bore? Most likely as well. So using this on zero will be pretty cool uh, to try out as well. Uh, and uh, yes, like I've already shown you, the singularity works on Master Gi as well. So do with it what you wish. I've already shown you the best thing to use it for on Master Gi, and that's to get him into that corrosive acid. So what do I think of this weapon? It's, well, apart from it looking absolutely fantastic, this thing is a whole lot of fun. The weapon itself is quite overpowered, it will kill enemies pretty easily, but this is just such a fun, fun, fun weapon to use. It's absolutely brilliant to uh, actually pull them uh, away from it, launch them up in the air, pull them off cliffs. Sometimes it, they're just going totally random places that you don't even know, uh, and it's just all around a good weapon to use. Uh, like I said, very powerful. This does work very well against bosses, of obviously being fire element uh, you know human enemies just are absolute toast after hitting them uh, i have tested this out on a few uh, of the bigger bosses as well people like uh, bad more uh, and things like that and they just go to ashes as well so yeah all in all a really really good weapon and uh, well his first weapon was brilliant but variant loki seems to get much better every time he brings a weapon out and this is probably one of my favorites on the list so uh, yeah anyway guys that is the witch made by variant loki go and get it give it a try out let me know what you think in the comments below uh, and for now that is it thank you guys and i'll see you in the next one